thank you for coming to my garage. This is Rick's Garage and today we'll be doing a continuation of the build of the Willys Jeep from IXL Collections. Pack 19, stages 91 to 95. Now I've put a link in the descriptions and a QR code on screen that will take you right on over to IXL Collections if you'd like to get this for yourself. But without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, in this stage, what we want to start off with is the support bracket or the support stand, which looks like this. And this is made out of metal. And this is the uh, the bracket that's going to go into. And with it in this way around, we want to take the support stand, place it in there like that, and secure that in with a DM screw. Okay, so we dip our screw in some oil. Position it just like this. We get that screw right in. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of position it just like that. And on the other side too. Okay, now it is a little stiff, but it does move. I want this to be at least a little stiff so it'll hold its own weight when it's in the upright position. But that is how that looks once that's installed. Okay, next we're going to take uh, this piece here. It is all metal, and they are calling this the Lunette Eye. L U N E T T E. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that uh, correctly. And then we have this piece here, which they are calling the, um, the draw bracket. Put that in just like that. And then we have our spring. We're going to put on it just like that. Now this piece here, this nut, or this piece that looks like a nut, we're going to insert a FM screw through that hole, but we're not going to tighten it. What we're going to do is that we're going to pre-thread this with the FM screw, and then we're going to place it on top of the spring and very carefully, and this has got a lot of tension on it, so this is going to be very difficult to do, I think. We're going to lower that down like so, and we're going to secure that on. And take that F FM screw, and we're going to tighten it then securely onto the post. So let me get that done, and we'll come back and show what that looks like. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that FM screw, I'm going to first put it through the hole of that nut, looking like that, and then right here is the screw hole that it's going to go into so we're going to have our spring that goes on top of there like so and then this is going to compress down and we're going to try to screw that in now i don't think i'm going to be able to do this on camera but let's see we'll hold it in like that take our screwdriver and see if we can't screw that all the way in nice and tight and that's how that looks once that's installed. So take your time with it because there's a lot of tension on that spring. Now when you push that nut down, you'll notice that part of that screw is going to be exposed. But that is as far as it will go. That's tight and secure in. So this is going to be able to move back and forth like that. Okay, next we want to bring over our trailer. And we want to remove this cover that we put on. So just come up just like that. Now, on this hook right here, or loop or loom, whatever it's called, these two lug holes here are going to go into the two holes that you see right here on either side. So you're going to line it up just like that. And being very careful about these wires so you don't put your screws through those wires, you're going to then secure this in with two CP screws. Okay, now because I've got insulating tape here, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I don't think I'm gonna need it anymore. And then I wanna make sure that the wires go around that post. So I don't want those screws to go through the wires. So I'm positioning the wires to go between this edge here and the screw post 
and use my tweezers to get them between that little tiny slot right there. So they're going to go in just like that. Then we're going to take our cover, put our cover back on, snap that into place, and then we're going to secure that in with a CP screw. One here, get that started, get another CP screw, and get that in. Then just make sure that's all nice and flush and secure, and it is. Okay, next we're going to take our stand, looking like this, and we're going to take this lug, I'm going to put it through this hole right here, I'm going to line up this screw hole to go through that hole right there. This is going to go on just like this. I'm going to secure that in right here with an EM screw. Put a little bit of oil. Pussin that screw in there and tighten that down. Okay. Okay, and that's how that looks once those are installed. And this does move up and down. And this does also move in and out, just like there's a little bit of tension on there. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, in stage 92, I believe we're going to start adding some components to the underside of the trailer to add up to the uh, shocks and the leaf springs. Okay, with our trailer in this position, this is the right and this is the left. We're going to turn our trailer upside down. And this is the left side. We also know that because we have an L, I don't know if the camera can see that or not, right there to remind us that that's the left side. And we have an R printed over here for right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these brackets now this one here, it, uh, this is larger. There's two different types of brackets. There's a small one and a large one. We're going to take the large one and put it at the front. And take the small one and put it at the back, right here like that. And we're going to secure those in with four, two for each, DM screws. And you want to get these in nice and tight because they're going to be supporting a lot of weight. There's going to be, those leaf springs are going to be attached to this and then uh, the wheels, the axles. So you want these in tight so they're not going to be wobbling around. Okay, next you want to take this U-bolt and you'll notice that there are two sizes, a long one and a short one. You want the long one to go into the hole here so that it will reach out to, the, to this far hole right there. Then you want to take your bracket. You will notice the bracket has a shape to it. You want this upward shape to face this way. So when you put it on like this, it conforms to the shape of the bracket to that C-clamp. And we're going to hold that in with one FM screw and that's going to go in to the bottom hole. So again, I'm going to take this bracket, I'm going to put it over this hole right here on the bottom one just like that. And I'm going to secure that in with an FM screw. And the easier way, I think, is to take the bracket and the screw and screw that, put that screw through that hole first, get that started, and then put the bracket onto the trailer and secure it that way. So now that I've got the screw halfway in, hold the C-clamp in place, Hold that in there like so, and then get our screwdriver and drive that home. Just like that. And that can still move up like so. Okay, then we want our shock cover looking like this, which is metal. And here on the side that we just attach these brackets to. This is on the left rear. We're going to take our shock bracket looking like that. Now you want, you'll want you notice that there is a large end here which is basically flush to the top of the bracket and over here it's smaller. It's more, it's more lower. You want this end, the larger end, to go in like this. 
If you have it on the other way around, then it's not going to fit properly. So you want it this way around, like that, and you want to secure that in with a DM screw. Okay, the instructions say to use a DM screw to secure this in, but that's incorrect because uh, these screws are too small to go into that hole. So this is the DM screw, and if you notice that when I put it into this hole over here, that screw just goes right through. So that screw is way too small for this hole. So the screw that I used to secure my shock in is an FM screw. So I think the instructions are wrong. Now this stage does come with six DM screws and two FM screws. And since this uh, stage does not call to use any FM screws, I believe that I'm right in saying that uh, this is the right screw to use, an FM screw here. So you should be able to use uh, those screws to install this. And I think on the next stage, we're going to be installing another one of these. So you shouldn't have any problem. But I do believe that the instructions are wrong. That really should be an FM screw. And that's mine installed, all nice and firm. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, in stage 93, we're going to attach the leaf spring on the left side of the, ch of the uh, chassis of the trailer. And you want to notice that the leaf spring has a large hole on this side and a small hole on this side. It's the large hole that we want first. And we're going to turn this bracket down out of our way because we need to slip the large hole of this onto that bracket. And then we can then bring this back up a little bit. And then on the other end, we just slip this, which is going to be a little bit of a tight fit, right into there. And we're going to secure that in here with an FM screw and over here with a GM screw. Now the instructions say that they want you to put the, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, but they want you to put this in, take this out, and secure it in in this way here. And once that's secured, they want you to lift this up around like so, and then drop it into the bracket like that. I'm not gonna do that. I don't see any need to do that. I'm just going to attach it to the way you see it here without having to flip it over, and then secure it in on this side with an FM screw, and then on this side over here with a GM screw. Okay, here goes the screw here. FM screw, get that onto my screwdriver, get that nice and tight. And then over here, we do a GM screw, which is a longer screw. Get this aligned up to where it needs to go. And it's going to go all the way through to the other side over here. So I should feel part of the screw coming across. And there comes cross right there. So that's that in. That's an in on the other side. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, so in stages 94 and in 95, we're going to be working on the right side of the trailer and doing exactly the same thing that we did on the left. So I'm going to start off with uh, this bracket here and then the larger bracket over here and we're going to attach those with uh, DM screws. Okay there's our brackets installed and just as before we're going to take this C-clamp here. We're going to put the larger in under on this side over here just like that. Okay, then we take our bracket. We're going to fix it onto there with an FM screw. Next, we take our shock absorber casing, and just as before, we're going to place it over here, and we're going to fix that in with an FM screw. Now, to get this in, I have to run my screwdriver underneath this leaf spring, and then screw that in nice and tight. I am using an FM screw. The instructions do say DM, but as I have already noted, the DM screw is too small and the FM screw is just right. So that's the screw that I'm using. There's that shock sleeve in. 
And that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, our last stage, we do the leaf spring. And that will then complete this pack. And here's our spring right here. And just like last time, we're going to take the large hole of this uh, leaf spring and we're going to slip it over this part over here. Bring this over into the camera so you can see it. Just like that. Bring this bracket up like so. And then over here, slip this into this uh, bracket over here, lining the holes up. Again, it's a little tight fit, but we'll get that in. There we go. Then we'll hold these in, fix this in over here with an FM screw, and then fix it over here with a GM screw. Okay, there's our two leaf springs in, and that's all there is to do in that stage, and that completes this pack. Okay, there's our trailer at the end of pack 95. We've got the two leaf springs on, and uh, I think in the next pack, in one of the stages, we're going to be adding the, the soft cover to the top of this uh, trailer. That's going to be uh, really interesting is uh, I tried to learn how to do a couple of knots that they suggest that we use to attach that. So um, I'm going to be looking at those instructions pretty carefully to learn how to do those knots. But uh, that's what's coming up in the next pack. Now I put a link in the descriptions and a QR code on screen that will take you right on over to IXL Collections if you'd like to get this for yourself. I really hope you liked this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed please remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Other than that, always have fun in your garage, your workshop, or wherever it is you build your models. And until next time, thanks for watching.